Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason. Believe it or not, I actually haven't done a retouching video for almost two months, and that is crazy. Maybe about three months now. That's crazy. But anyways, today we're going to be retouching the image of the beautiful cast. Um, I shot this um, alongside a friend, um, Royal. Yes, definitely check his Instagram out. I'll put a link in the description to his page and her page too. So definitely check them out. You know, telling me I'm from Prince Mason's um, YouTube. And um, yeah, let's get straight to this. Now, I already have the image in Photoshop. I'll do a different image talking about color grading again in capture one but i already have this image that i'll be retouching in photoshop by the way those are the images that i did already and i just want to say if you have not gotten any of my retouching pack like my pro retouching pack and my retouching essentials pack then you are definitely 100 percent missing out now this is i would say these these are the best actions you can get for retouching right now trust me there there are no actions or you know like plugins i would say that come close to this and i'm not just saying that lightly i'm saying that because i use it every day so if you've not gotten any of my pack definitely check it out put a link in the description below and put a card up here so you know check it out and um pretty sure you guys will love it but anyways let's get straight into this now the first thing i want to do for an image like this is just go around the image and see what i can take off before i start retouching so i'll duplicate my layer and that is going to be command j just duplicate this layer um and now i'm just going to go in so tiny things like you can see this right here this strand right here this strand right here i'm going to take all that out um this part of our body you can see this label right here i'll take that out and these strands right here i feel like those are the only ones that i can see for now and that's probably everything so let's get that to the way now i will not take out the flyaways from the hair because it just adds volume to the hair you know it's part of like the the look of the hair so there's no need to take out those flyaways now if you want to be extra you can just come in and paint out a few but let's get this out now um there are different tools you can use for this but i'll probably use the clone stamp tool and um in this instance i i'm really not worried about you know like retouching this particular one in a non-destructive way so what i'm going to do is just use the clone stamp tool um that's going to be option or um i think that's alternate on pc and just sample and paint take that out sample paint um, i think i did that just a little bit too much take that out um this one in here i'll do the same thing here now at this point i don't think the idea is any reason to actually even go in and take all these out but um i mean if, if you want to do the image right you want to do everything the right way then you know sometimes it's best you just do it this way and just get everything looking really really nice so i'm just going to take this out too and take this out okay great so now i've taken those tiny things out now for this particular one here thank god we got ai so <laughs> what i'm going to do is just come in here and i will select this um and just use generative fill now if i use content aware it might not be great it might not be as good as generative fill now it really depends on what you're doing sometimes generative fill is better sometimes content aware is better but for the most part generative fill is always better than um, content aware so um right now i'm going to use generative fill i'll just generate it I meaning we'll just look around the image and say this is good just walk through a few of them i don't think there's any major difference you know um yeah, I feel like this one in the middle is like the best. So, okay, so that's that. And now we are done with removing those tiny things. Now, another thing you can do is just come in, like I said, and take out the straight hairs if you want to be extra. So from that, for that, or I mean, <laughs> I'm going to pick um, this um, out, say, what's the school? I, I can't even remember the name of the school, funny enough. Um, never mind, can't remember the name at all. I think that is the spot healing brush yes <laughs> that'll be spot healing brush man i just went brain dead for a few um few minutes here so i'm just going to use that you know take take this out just take out this i mean this is you being extra you don't have to do it for a portrait but you know just take those out you can see some extra ones here too just take that out you don't really need to do any of this but hey for the sake of this tutorial i guess i'll just do everything make everything really really clean now with the spot healing brush you don't need to sample you just paint over it and it'll just take it out so yeah so we just take out some of these flyaways here and here and here and here all this places like this okay great okay now i've taken out some of those flyaways is there any other thing we need to do I don't think so really um we can come in and just fix some of this but i feel like um for now we're just going to leave that and see what that looks like later um 
Okay, great. So now that we're done doing this, what we're going to do is create that stamp visible layer. So that's going to be Command, Option, Shift, and E. So that's Control, Alt, and Shift, and E. And we'll create the stamp visible layer here. Um, what we're going to do right now is run our action. Now, for this image, I'm not really sure if I want to use the full body or the portrait, but I will probably stick to the portrait for now and just run my portrait action. Like I said, if you do not get, or if you've not gotten my um, pro, I'd say if you do not get, <laughs> that's a trick. But if you have not gotten my pro retouching pack, then you should definitely check it out. I feel like, like I said, this is the best retouching action out there. Um, it, it won't take out the blemishes, but man, the, the way this thing is moving out skin, it's, it's next to none, trust me. Um, I use it, like I said, all the time. And you have the ultimate control of how smooth you want your skin to look. Okay, great. So now that we have run our action, we have everything here. So we're just going to open up my action and pick a brush. Now, not, not like a mixer brush or anything, just a regular brush, right? Set our flow to anything between 15 and 20%. And what we're just going to do is go in and just paint over our subject space. But before we do that, so we're going to work on paint here. But before we do that, what I want to do is work right here and take out most of the blemishes. So I just want to take out most of the blemishes uh, myself, right? So I will um, use the clone stamp tool again. <laughs> By the way, I'm pretty quick with my keyboard. So sometimes I might just, you know, forget that I haven't set the tool that I'm using. So right now we need to use the clone stamp tool. So that's S on my keyboard, right? And just take out a lot of like whatever blemish I could take out right now, right? Just take some of these out. Just take some of these out. Now, um, I think I have a self-portrait. I might retouch here um, in some days. I don't know if anybody wants to see me retouch a self-portrait, but um, with anything you do, um, when you shoot for the most part, especially with the high-end camera, you know, you zoom in, you're going to see more than the regular eye can ever see. So it's just normal. Okay, great. So I'm just going to use my clone stamp tool here, just paint around. Now, I'm not doing too much with my clone stamp tool yet. Um, just taking, I don't like that strand of hair right there, you know, but I understand the idea. You feel me? Um, just I think in here, I'm just going to work on that because I want everything there, everything that is in there to be dark. So I'm still using my clone stamp tool, you know, just painting for the most part, just pick a small brush and just use that small brush all through. Um, and yeah, voila. We are good. Now, typically I'll come in and just take out whatever strands of hair I can take out for the most part. But for now, I, I really do not want to do too much, you know, because um, I want to clean out the skin and then see what's next, right? So to clear up the, um, to blend in the skin, <laughs> what we're going to do is come down here to paint here. And like I said, we're going to pick a brush. So we're just going to pick a regular brush. Um, make sure it is soft, hardness is on zero, just a regular brush, right? Our flow is 17. We'll come down here to paint here. And we're going to work on the face first, yeah? So what we're going to do is just paint there. Just paint and see what that looks like, right? So just paint and see what that looks like. Okay, great. So this is our before, this is our after. And come in here and reduce the blending effect if we want to. Just reduce that a little bit. And then we'll go to that extra smooth and just paint over like some of the shadows in there. Okay, great. So with this, let's see what we've done. So with this, um, quickly, let's see how before and how after. You can see before, after. You can see it's blended out like the, the whole skin. You know, everything looks nice. And good so that's a before and after right now we can come in again and then you know just smoothing out like and the skin now she t she has um we're going to pick a uh, clone stamp tool um she has uh i'll say she has a lot of texture and that's totally fine you know um different people have different um types of textures on their faces and everything so i'm just going to you know just take some of that out now if the texture is too much what i always do is like i just have a trick up my sleeve for that because the whole idea is for you to retouch as fast as possible you know um you're not really you're not retouching for vogue you know if you're doing that then i'll say it take a lot more time but for the most part it's just like a portrait and you know like uh, maybe you're just trying to get it out to a client so you don't want to do too much you know just take out whatever you can take out um 
as fast as possible. You know, um, this channel is as much as we do a lot of professional retouching here. The the goal is to make sure that we help or I help you guys retouch as fast as possible and still get like very professional um, results. Okay, great. So now we're done using clone stamp tool. I'll come in and fix some of these textures here right here later. Um, what I want to do is just work on the hands, right? So for the hands, what I'm going to do is just come back here to paint here, pick my brush, um, flow 17. This time I'll probably take my flow down just a little bit to like 10, right? And then, you know, with the paint here, I'll just paint over the hands. Because the thing about the hands is that you just have to be careful so you do not overdo it, you know? Like, you don't want the hands to look too smooth, you know? Then the image starts looking very fake, right? So, um, before, after, you guys can see we've done a pretty decent job. Let's see how we find after again. I'm going to close my portrait retouch before, after. Let's see the whole image before, after. And we're definitely getting somewhere, you know, <laughs> before and after. You guys can see we're getting somewhere, right? Okay, great. So if, let's say, you want to reduce the texture, yeah, don't with all this right now. You just want to reduce the texture on the face. You want the face to just look uh, a little bit smoother than, you know, like, um, than, than it looks, right? The easiest way to do that is to create an understand visible layer, command option, shift, and E. And then I have this thing here that is called um, reduce texture. So that's soft skin reduce texture. So I run the action, you know, um, just because we, we have, there's an action for everything. <laughs> and I just click OK and, and you don't have to do too much, you know. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is command I because, you know, I just want to paint into some same places, right? And then I will just, uh, my flow is fine, you know. And then with a white brush, I'll just paint over some places that I'm trying to reduce the texture. Because, you know, you just don't want textures everywhere, you know, just some of those places, right? So if I do zoom in right now, you can see those textures I've reduced. So that's our before, after. I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see. That's our before, after, before, after. You can see we really reduced those textures and the whole image is matching right now. Let's say you want to be extra, because at this point, you know, you can dodge and burn. Let's see what this looks like. This are before, this after. At this point, you can just dodge and burn. Um, that's global dodge and burn. Get your image out the way, and then you're good, you know, fix a few other things. But let's say you just want to be extra. Uh, you just want to be extra. You want to make it look as, as good as possible, right? One thing you can do is just, you know, click on... Um, so create like a complete dodge and burn. So it's going to create everything with your invert check layers, right? And what we're going to do is just drop this down because we want to be able to see the, the whole face and how everything looks, you know, just zoom into the face. This this is just the extra step. You don't need to take this step, you, if you feel me. Like you don't need to go the extra mile, you know, for this step, oh, by the way. <laughs> My bad. Double click to this. Okay, just cancel here. So what we're gonna do is pick a brush, reduce our flow to one percent, and right now what we're gonna do is just dodge this image, right? So some tiny things like the smell lines right here. I don't really like that. So I just get that dodge it. Now I feel like I need to still drop my opacity, maybe to like maybe I don't know, like 70, 80 percent. Now we're fine, you know, just reduce that smile line right there, you know, um, brighten these places up. By the way, if you do not know what I'm doing, I'm doing micro dodge and burn. And with micro dodge and burn, what happens is that you brighten the shadows and darken the highlights. Now, the reason why this image looks like this is because I have something turned on called my invert check layer. And what that does is that it just helps you see the shadows and the highlights better. But the difference is that the image is inverted. So um, for the most part, where I just worked on right now, as you guys can see, that place is white. But if we turn off our invert check layer, look, that place is dark. So I'm just lightening that place up, right? So whenever you turn on your invert check layer, anywhere that is um, bright becomes looks black, and anywhere that is dark looks white. So that's the you know that's the funny thing about the invert check layer, right? So um, I'm just going to just dodge, burn some places here, just to give the the whole idea is just to give the whole image just a tiny lift, you know, nothing crazy to be honest because like the skin smoothening has done most of the work. So with the invert check layer on, right, if I turn this off and I turn everything off that I've done, you can see how it looks with the invert check layer, right? So if I turn on my portrait, 
look at how that looks look at the can you see how it has smoothened out everything that's how much work the um the action does for you right and then with the soft skin texture you know it just smoothens out the textures smoothens out the texture <laughs> a lot more as you guys can see right there and then we're just going to throw in our micro dodge and burn just you know just for the sake of throwing that in and uh, with micro dodge and burn you guys can see it's just a just a tiny lift you know right there just uh just a tiny lift you know nothing nothing too crazy so let's see how before before after you guys can see just that smile line right there now that i've taken that out the image looks absolutely gorgeous we can do a few other things you know for example before we do i'm just going to delete this micro dodge and burn the second micro dodge and burn layer because we're not using that for anything now a few other things that we can do is just um maybe run the eyes and teeth whitening action that's free though you know you can get that for free on my page so check it out and then just brighten the eyes you know um and I understand why her eyes are this sensitive um, because we're using like a really hard light. Like I said, I'll be putting on behind the scenes for this photo shoot very soon. We're using a really hard light. I'm just going to take my opacity and my flow up to 100%. And I shot myself with that light and I was like, oh, Lord, this is what the models go through. It is crazy. Um, and it's a continuous light, so it's just directly in your face. Okay, great. So now that I've whitened that, I feel like that's too much. So we're just going to come to our curves just reduce that just a little bit and the eyes look um a lot better than you know they did before um a few other things we can do um, i feel like the face is just a little bit more um has a bit more um, i'll take greens than the the body so we we can work on that by just creating like a selective color you know you can just create selective color um open that up it's right here so i'm just going to drag it out um, just zoom into her face right here, you know, um, and what we can do is just measure like the face and the skin and maybe just mess around with this, maybe pull it up. Yeah. Just, uh, I think it's just more red and just uh, a little bit more magenta, nothing too crazy. Then command I to invert that. Um, and then we can just use a brush to paint it all over her face, you know, just the, the skin. So I'm going to reveal that now. And let's see if that looks better. I feel like, you know, that looks uh, just a little bit better. You know, it matches her her body better, you know. Um, okay, great. I'm just going to throw this in here. <laughs> you stay there. <clears throat> okay, great. Um, then now we can do global dodge and burn. Um, just simple. Global dodge and burn is the simplest thing ever to do. So what we are going to do is just pick a soft brush like i said our flow is on three percent and um we're just going to one thing i typically do with my dodge and burn um is um so i'm just going to put everything in the group right and you don't have to put everything in the group but i'm just going to put everything in the group right so one thing i do with my dodge and burn is turn everything off so i can see exactly how the highlights and the shadows looked originally you guys can see how far i've gone with this project um was uh before um, this are after, so before, after. Okay, great. So one thing I typically do is I will turn off everything here, and then with my dodge, what I'm going to do is just, you know, just pick the highlight. Sometimes, you know, you want to pick the tiniest parts and enhance those because the image tends to look better when you do that, you know, just... Um, but with this one, I don't think we have too much to do with that dodge and burn. Um, so anywhere that you have your highlights, you dodge. Um, and make sure that the brush size is kind of like um, matches the surface area that you're working on, right? So with our burn, we'll you know just do the same thing, nothing too fancy. Um, so now I'm just going to burn our shadows. Um, and that's about it, you know. Um, nothing, like I said. Nothing too crazy, right? So we'll turn this back on, and that is our global dodge and burn. So global dodge and burn before, after, just to enhance it a little bit. And then what we can do next is just um, create an understand visible layer. So that's command, option, shift, and E. So that's control, alternate, shift, and E on PC. And then, you know, just do a little bit of liquefy. Um, just go into um the liquefy and one thing on liquefy is because of how she was posing her stomach kind of like you know it's, it's just 
uh, just poking out just a little bit more than I wanted to, you know, uh, just something that tiny, you know, um, makes a huge difference. Okay, great. So this is where our image is right now. Uh, I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see our portrait, or maybe zoom out so you can see the full portrait. And this is where we started. This is where we're at right now. I think we've done a pretty decent job. So um, you can then add one of my um, one of my skin tone lots. Just throw one of them in there. Maybe in skin tone signature four. And that's typically like my go to. Um, and right now, you know, you can just add it to the skin tone. Um, so basically. It, it, there are different ways to go about it but for me i will just you know command i invert it and then just you know just paint it over my subject you know just like this just paint it over my subject i feel like that's like the easiest way to just get it right now on, on my subject you know just paint it over my subject and then you know i'll probably just do opacity to the level that i want and you guys can see that that looks good um but if you want her to look a lot more saturated than that then you can just do it so anyways so this is our image um like i said this uh before and this uh after you guys can see we've done a pretty decent job um typically it would not take you this long um but because i'm teaching that's why it's, it's taking this long but anyways um if you want to check out my skin tone laws check them out link will be in the description below if you want to check out my Pro retouching pack, I definitely recommend you get that and use it. Definitely check it out. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. More retouching videos to come because I'm working a lot more now. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Peace out, guys.